Uh, he dressed differently. Um, he, he, he did his hair differently. Uh, his face, his eyes, his earrings, his pigeon toed. Um, he, he was very, very quick to understand what was going on. So that made him even more dangerous, that he knew how to get out of a predicament by probably answering the question before you brought it up to him. I remember one time um, going home to Vegas for a few days for a vacation. And as he walked out the door, I had a small little office then, he said, uh, do you ever listen, Nick? And I said, no, not really. He said, well, if you listen, you'd be surprised what you'd learn. And in the same uh, mouthful, he said, uh, would you talk to Dr. Gerber, who was the head of Bradenton Academy? He was the head of the school. He said, Nick, he wants me to cut my hair. He said, are you listening? I said, yeah. Can you take care of that? And of course I took care of it. But where Andre came across as flamboyant, he changed the, the dress codes. I mean, he had old ladies wearing denim shorts that shouldn't even been in, in, I don't know what they should have been in, but they wore them. He had that, that knack. But also, you always were wondering, can you hold this guy back to make the breakthrough?